So in this episode at Techno Dad, we're going to be installing sonar. And if you haven't already, please check out our video about radar. And here we go now. So we're going to install sonar. And so we're going to go over to Docker. And we're going to type in sonar. And Linux server sonar and start, close, and now we're going to, if you don't know it already, go to shell in the box. If you don't have this installed, look at my video about installing Docker and shell in the box. Click web UI, and so we're going to type in root and our password, and then we're going to type in ID and our username, and so for this computer it's user1. And so our UID is 1000, our GID is 100. So we're going to write that down. And so we're going to go back to Docker. We're going to do two things. One is we're going to click on Sonar, get the info page. And so if we need to look up anything, this is where we'll do it. Okay, and so now we're going to click on Run Image. And so we're going to call this container Sonar. And restart policy is always. Ours is going to be a host adapter. So for here, we're going to type in PUID. And so this is our UID, which for us was 1000. And we're going to click Add. Oops. And actually, we're going to have to edit that. I see I typed that wrong. PID. And then click Check there. And then uh, PGID which is our GID. Add that. Good. And then for our container pass, we're going to click config. And so in our config folder, if we go to our network, our OMV server, in our app data folder. So if you look at my simple file sharing video, you can see how to add folders, but we're going to click on app data. And so we're adding in Sonar, and so we do not have a folder for that yet, so we're going to add in a folder, Sonar. Okay, click Close, and so now we're going to go to our host path, go down to Shared Folders, and to App Data, and there's our Sonar, we're going to click OK there. Click the plus sign there, hit another slash, now we're going to go to Downloads. And so we already add in the downloads folder in uh, another video. So we're going to just click on downloads, click OK. Add that, hit another slash. We're going to hit TV. Hit there, and we already added it a TV folder, and that will be in our media folder. Hit OK there, hit plus. And now uh, the from container, this is just for any connections that it might have. And so we're going to add in Plex and transmission. Now we're going to click save. Container will start running. And so uh, we just did sonar. So if we go back up here to our info page, we can see right here that we need to type in the IP address plus 8989 to get to the web UI. So what we're going to do is just copy that. Add a new window. Backspace colon 8989. Hit enter. And now we are in Sonar, which is basically the exact same as Radar. Uh, but what I would say is just do a few things to look up here. So we're going to go over to Settings, Rename Episodes, Yes. And we're going to include all those things. We don't want to include the quality extras. And we're going to ignore deleted episodes. Profiles, again, uh, these are to give you the minimum of what they should be. So we're not going to do any of these ones. Click Save. Oh, cut off actually. Is We're going to go Blu-ray. And then over to SD. We're just going to leave one there. Actually, no, we'll leave two. And then all the rest are OK. 
Good, so quality, we want to limit the amount of space these takes to download. So I'm just going to do that quickly here. Okay, next we're going to go to indexers and we're going to have a separate video on how to add those. Download client, we're going to hit plus and we have transmission, so we're going to put that in. So transmission. And all those should be good. We don't have a password. Let's click test our connection. And you can see down here in the corner it says succeeded, so we're going to click save there. And none of the other things we need to change. So basically that's it for our sonar uh, episode. So please click subscribe if you like this video. And we have more good videos coming up, uh, especially about indexers. That's probably going to be our next video. Okay, take care.